I dig Panasonic. I really do. I'm a fan of Panasonic products. And, uh, I'm a fan of this guy right here. This is the Panasonic RX DS30 from 1989 or thereabouts. Although, interestingly, this has the expanded AM band, which means it goes up to 1710 kilohertz AM, which I don't believe was implemented until 1993. So I don't know what all that's about. This model... The RX DS30 could have been manufactured, you know, for a select time after, uh, after 89. That's the only thing I can think of. But either way, man, I... This... I'm a fan of Panasonic products, if you didn't know that. I think I might have said it before, but if I didn't, I'm saying it now. In fact, uh, I got another Panasonic product on the way. I found a good deal, I believe, on a Panasonic 12-inch desk fan. It's one of those uh, Panasonic 5-way oscillation fans with the uh, transparent blades, or supposedly transparent blades. I, uh... Haven't opened my eyes throughout my entire life, and I'm not going to open them just to find out if the blades on the Panasonic fan that I'm going to receive soon are transparent or not. But either way, I really, really, I'm, I'm a fan of vintage Panasonic products, and even uh, modern Panasonic products these days. Uh, Panasonic is one of the better brands out there, I believe, it's still around these days. I don't know if they still make their own stuff, but um, we have a Panasonic Plasma TV in the living room. I believe it's a 42-inch or something like that. It's from 2012, and knock on wood, uh, hopefully that's close enough. This is wood, uh, pretend wood. Either way, it's still going strong. And at this point, it's about six years old. Um, anyways. Yeah, I... I really... <laughs> I really dig Panasonic. I really love Panasonic products. I'm probably going to, uh... Say that even more. As if I haven't made it clear already throughout this entire video. Because this guy definitely does not hinder my love for Panasonic products. This uh, RX DS30 has an AM FM radio with presets, digital tuning. Good stuff for 1989. It has a single cassette, uh, it has a single deck cassette recorder. Got a nice close up of the inside, the uh, cassette well. It's a full logic cassette deck, which is one of the reasons I got this. It has auto reverse. Which is another reason I got this. Um, it has a CD player up here at the top, which works ish. It has line ins in the back, RCA line inputs, not a standard, well, not, not a uh, standard 3.5 millimeter input like you would find in your cars these days or modern stereo systems or what have you, just uh, RCA inputs, which was a standard thing at the time, and frankly, better in my opinion, but, uh, I guess I'm an old man, because I largely tend to think that older things are, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go on a granddad rant, either way, I, <laughs> this, this thing is amazing, oh, the tape deck is AC bias, of course, um, I already have this tuned uh, to 95.7 FM. Good stuff. This thing sounds amazing, by the way. You get the uh, bass and treble sliders at the bottom all the way up, and it it's not going to blow a hi-fi away, but, man, it... It, uh... It'll sound great, and then some. Let's demonstrate the cassette. Now at the beginning of this cassette is going to be something I recorded with the Sony CFS... 
Recording with the two built-in microphones on the Sony CFS450 from 1983 or thereabouts. That. This is an AC bias tape recorder. I'm going to pause. By the way, this particular Panasonic doesn't really have... It, it doesn't have any built-in internal microphones. But it does have an external microphone input on the back, which is a 3.5 millimeter input. And it's mono, which surprised me. Let's record some FM. Frequency modulation. And the way, uh, the way you record on this thing, it took me forever to figure out how to do it, because this thing has 10 trillion buttons. And, you know, since I haven't opened my eyes my entire life, and I, I, I refuse to open my eyes for any reason. Um, the way it is where there's a record button uh, below the rewind, fast forward, and stop buttons, and you hit record, and then you hit either, you know, you hit the button for what side you want to record on, the A side or the B side. I'll go ahead and hit the uh, A side because, well, I guess they're labeled as forward and reverse because... You could have put the tape in with the B-side facing you. So, I mean, it's not like they would know. So, I'm recording in forward. This tape already has a recording of an oldie station in Richburg, South Carolina, 90.3 WRBK. I can't get it typically, but when the FM band is opened up, I can get it around these parts. Let's uh, switch to tape. We'll stop. This records phenomenally, as you'll be able to tell. It records really, really well. Barely even tell the difference between the tape and the actual radio. Now I dig this, auto-reverse. One side of the tape's over. You ain't gotta get up to flip it over. Actually, I'll go ahead and demonstrate this the right way. What we'll do is uh, I flipped it over. I'm gonna hit forward. We're gonna dig some oldies music. Anyway, uh, we're gonna let that run gonna let that run we're gonna let that run and then this is what auto reverse is if you didn't know and if you haven't guessed already now hopefully I have it enabled I think I accidentally flipped the switch uh, at one point ah crap oh well um let's see let's see all right now I should have it to where it'll work. Let's uh, give a true demonstration of this. Now, momentarily, it will do this. Right here. There we go. Flipped right to the other side. Wham, bam, boom. That's what auto reverse is. A lot of uh, car cassette decks have this. Or had this feature, because they don't make uh, cassette decks for cars no more. And, um... That's really about it for this. I love this machine. I really do. It sounds good. It works good. And, uh, I mean, the CD player doesn't work. But I'm not necessarily at a total loss, because I admittedly don't have a massive CD collection. Uh, my collection of music mostly comprises of... Uh, digital files, as well as cassettes, 8-tracks, and records. Because that is how I roll. Now, now I'll give you a 360 view of this thing. You saw the front. This is the side. Nothing really to see on the side except for a provision for a shoulder strap. This is the back. I'm gonna put this on my shoulder like I'm cool or something. And then this is the other side with another provision for a screw. Uh, a screw for a shoulder strap. And on the back, 
the uh, sorted inputs and outputs are RCA line in and out, presumably for external speakers, and also that external mic input that I was talking about. All right, folks, uh, that, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will have a video of the fan soonishly when I get it. And I will continue to rave on about how much of a fan I am of Panasonic products later.